So we can combine words from all these categories and it can get as complex as you want it to. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little demonstration here. Um, any combination of one, two, and three can actually be combined into something useful. So let's say you wanna say, uh, let's, let's do it, let's just do a one, two, three to start with. And let's say that the person we're chattering with, even though this number is retired and shouldn't be worn by anyone, is 23. So I just want to give you a flavor of the types of chatters that we might be able to do. So we could say, for example, here we go now, kid. And that's fine. We could say, what do you say there, two, three? Because remember our rule, uh, double digits say each number separately. Um, we could say, let's say that your pitcher throws a strike and you want him to throw another strike uh, to get the third strike. So you say, hey, do it one more time there, babe. Or you could say, Hey, do one more time there, babe. Hey, now, kid. Or, for instance, you could say you want your pitch, you want you want your hitter to, to give a ball a ride. So we could say, Hey, let's see it now, there, kid. We could so that actually was a one, two, two, three. Because what I said was, Hey, let's see it now, there, kid. And that's okay. Um, we could say, Come on now, now, two, three. How about it there, babe? And that's fine. Or we could say. Make it happen now, babe. Come on out, kid. Um, and let's say that person's nickname is um, Legs. So then you could say, what do we got left here? Make it happen there, Legster. Because remember, our suffix, stir, we can add that. So we could say, make it happen there, Legster. Here we go now, two, three. Come on now, babe. What do you say now, kid? And it's about as simple as that. The other thing that I want to introduce is our rule set. The first rule, talk fast. It doesn't really matter what you say, but how fast you say it, okay? So if I were to say, for instance, here we go. Hey, let's see it there, kid. That sounds lame. Right? If you said that to your pitcher, you'd turn around and be like, shut up, I'm trying to pitch. But if you said, hey, let's see there, kid, that's perfectly acceptable. You pound your glove a couple of times, hey, let's see there, kid, here we go now. That's fine. Everyone, you know, that's just part of the game. Your pitcher's going to love it. Um, rule number two, steady stream. And what that means is that even if you're having trouble coming up with what to say, you don't want to have awkward pauses in there. You don't want to be like, here we go, now, kid. Um, um, hey, let's see, that, that sounds horrible. You're, uh, you're psyching out your pitcher, you're getting him off his game, he's focused on, or she's focused on what you're saying, and you're not doing your team any good. Just keep talking, let it flow. The more you practice this, the more it's just gonna come naturally, and the more you're gonna be able to just go for minutes on end as your pitcher's working. So you're saying, hey, I'm gonna babe, what are you saying now, kid? Here we go now, what are you saying now, two, three? I'm gonna babe, here we go now. And that's fine, that's good. You can do that, you can keep that up forever. Um, there, there, there's a rhythm to this, and there's a, there's a proper cadence, and it's difficult to describe, but it's, it's constant, it's flowing, it should all just seem kind of like, like waves breaking almost. It's gonna, feel, it's gonna feel just natural and soothing when you get it right. So keep practicing, try some different rhythms, try some different cadences until you hit the one that just feels right. It really is, it's a, it's a feel thing. Um, so. What, what, one thing that I notice is that people kind of get in this habit of going like, hey, I'm gonna, here we go now, here we go now, and, and you get this rise and fall, and it gets a little bit distracting, but I think if you keep it at that same cadence level, you're gonna be a lot more successful. So that's another thing for our advanced chatters to think about. Final rule, just say something. If you're out there, and you're chattering and you're, you're like, hey, humming out, here we go now, kid, let's see it now. And then your mind blanks. What you want to do, just mumble excitedly. You know, it doesn't really matter what you say as long as you're saying something. It could be like, hey, blah, 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 we're going to, blah, 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 blah. and as long as it's the right cadence, it's chatter. It doesn't matter. So you've got a few things to work on now. You've got some basic phrases, and we'll make sure to share those in a usable format for you. Um, you've got some ideas about what you should be striving for in terms of rules, the flow of your speech, the speed of your speech. And now it just has to kind of come together and you got to go out there and put it together and, and help out Wolfpack Softball. 
So uh, thanks for your attention, and uh, let's get to chattering.